everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host, Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today, I want to show you how to use the Flex Control Panel to control your downstream keyers. A great and efficient way to embed your lower thirds, bugs, picture-in-picture, -picture, graphics, and more using this powerful device. So, let me show you how it's done, son! All right, so I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface up, and I have my TriCaster Flex control panel that is assigned to my TriCaster 2 Elite. So let's go ahead and start playing around with downstream keyers. Okay, so typically what you would end up doing on your uh, TriCaster uh, to select your different sources uh, on the interface side of things is you would go to, say, your downstream key number one here, click this drop down, and then you have access to using any of your inputs, media players, or mix effects, or even groups if you wanted to from here. All right, but I want to do that, but on the flex control panel. Cool. So uh, what you'll see here to do that, uh, up here at the top uh, above your program and preview uh, buttons, uh, rows, is you have your selection for the different inputs that will be living inside of your downstream keyers. And to select your downstream keyers, let's go ahead and zoom my camera in, you'll see at the end of that blue row that I have buttons here that say number one and number two. That's the downstream keyer selection here. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and back up. And you'll see currently I have mix effect number one selected on my uh, downstream keyer number one. But if I click another button, for example, let's go to mix effect number two on the interface, that changes uh, over to that mix effects. All right. So that's how you would do that there. And now let's go over to downstream keyer number two. And this is where uh, we'll need to pay a little bit more attention. So uh, you'll notice that nothing is illuminated here on the flex control panel. But if I look on the interface, my downstream keyer number two is currently assigned to one of my buffers. So I need to get over to that uh, area of the uh, flex control panel on the buffer side. So you need to go through your different banks. Now, one way to do that on the TriCaster Flex is a hold down bank here, and you'll see that that gets me over to my bank number two, which gives me my inputs nine through 16, my four DDRs, my mix effects five through eight, uh, but I need to get over to my bank number three, and to do that, I'll hold down shift and bank, and now you'll see that that is illuminated up here because I'm on buffer number two. And if I select something else, there you go. The changes on the interface as well. All right. But what if you're, again, that was only downstream keys number one and two, but, and if you're on a TriCaster that only has those, that's good. But uh, let's say you want to uh, do the same thing, but on uh, your uh, downstream keys number three and four. So to get to that, we'll do something similar to what I just did, which is I'm going to hold down shift. And to get to number three, I'm going to click on number one. All right. Now you'll see that my downstream keyer number one is flashing, meaning that I am now on downstream keyer number three. All right. And I'll do the same thing. Some of my buffers right now have shipped to bank. And now I can select a different source in here. And you'll see that changes on the interface. And same thing if you want to get to four, hold down shift, click on two. And now two is blinking. And you can then cha make changes uh, from there. All right, so that's how you get to uh, delegating the different sources to your downstream keyers, all right? Now let's go ahead and put this back. I'll go over here to number one, for example. And that's just for the, delega for the delegation side. But now let's go ahead and show you how you can bring those on screen. Okay, so how you would do that is over here on the right. Let's zoom in here. So these are just for delegation. This is for actually uh, assigning which sources you want to start uh, switching between either using take, auto, or your T-bar to move those different sources, okay? So I'm going to select downstream gear number one. And when I do that, you'll see on the TriCaster 2 Elite interface that I have that little blue button over here uh, illuminated for the source. And that just lets you know that uh, that's the one that you're currently selecting uh, to use as like a, a transition, etc. Now keep in mind, so is background right now, illuminated in blue. So I'm gonna click background here on my flex so that I am not controlling uh, the background. I just want to control uh, downstream gear number one right now. All right, and then from here, I can either hit take, and that'll just bring that source on screen, bring it off, 
or I can click auto and it'll use whatever uh, transition I had in there for that. Uh, or I can use the T-bar like so. Woo! There we go. Get out of here. All right. Now, uh, let's say we want to bring on uh, downstream keyers number one and two at the same time. Uh, what I can do is I can basically just select that one like that, and you'll see that those are both illuminated here in blue. And same thing on the interface. And now I can use my T-bar. Hey, let's bring in this guy in his lower third. Cool. Get out of here. All right. Now let's say we want to bring, bring on downstream keyer number three. First of all, uh, we need to say shift and kind of the same way we did up there, we'll say go to number one here. There you go. And you'll see that that is flashing, which means that we are on downstream gear number three and bring that on screen like so. There's my little live bug in the top left and take it out. And if we want to unselect that, let's say we'll go to number four instead, like so. You'll see now that I have this blinking, which means that I am on number four. Let's go ahead and bring that on screen, and I have a nice little overlay. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring them all on at the same time. I'm going to hold shift, so I already have four illuminated. Let's go to one. There you go. And then I want to grab one and two as well, so I'll just click those. And you'll see now everything is illuminated, and now I have a hit auto. Hey, all of them are going to come on screen at the same time and go off screen via my auto button or hit take or use my T-bar. So a lot of cool things that you can do with the flex control panel. I highly recommend playing around with this and y'all know me. Have some fun. There you have it. Another great way to use the flex control panel to help simplify your productions. Now for more tutorial videos like this one, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formalized new tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on new tech products and services, contact your local new tech partner or you can visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work with new tech products on social media, tag us using the hashtags newtech, TriCaster, or 3Play. It's always awesome to see what kind of cool things you're all working on. Thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of Tuesday Tutorials.